I never shared it on my social media. So this is the first time I'm sharing it to all of you. I'm just going to be very transparent about it. How I actually took my internship journey. You all should know that there can be some challenges you might face in London. And that time you don't lose your hope. I remember crying, not eating properly. I remember stressing over like everything around me. But I actually completed those journey. And now I'm here and I just want to say you that I am at a better place right now. Hey guys, you're watching Anushka Vlogs. Today I'm going to share my experience of getting my work placement. If you're also planning for an MBA at University of Greenwich and it's international business, then this is the right video for you. If you want to know about how I got my placement, how the placement life is going on, I'm going to share a to Z about my work placement here. My work placement has been a constant fight for me. I just want to assure you that this will happen and it's just a part of it. I'm just going to talk about what am I doing and what is my internship is about first. So I am working as a marketing manager at Leica Mobile. So if you remember that I went to Bangladesh, I already started applying for my internship because I didn't want to sit back when I come here. So I wanted something to be ready. I know it's it's not that easy to have something ready, especially when it's a job in London. But if you work hard, if you're fully dedicated, like you have to get it, then you're going to get it. So you just have to know the ways how you're going to get it. And today I'm going to talk about all of this in this video. I was applying every day and I used to get rejection like 50 rejections or maybe more than that because I used to apply around 100 jobs a day because I was really nervous that I have to get a job when I come back to London. That's why I started applying for jobs when I was in Dhaka. I remember that I got an interview and I was giving an interview and I was in car and I was like so nervous because I was traveling and he was literally asking me so many questions. Like he wanted to have a face-to-face -face interview and I was like sure I'm, I'm just gonna be there in a week and I'll definitely come for the interview just tell me the dates and then he actually said me a date. I was 50% hopeful that if I can get the face-to-face -face interview I know that I'm just gonna get it. What I did is like I actually started researching that but what exactly I I did for the clients that I previously had but here I'd like to say you something that if you don't have any experience don't worry because I'm coming to the part where I actually gave the interview so when I went to the interview stage they just asked me that suppose these were their clients so they had like lots of clients over 30 clients and they were telling me that can you communicate with them can you look after their social media can you please tell us about your previous experiences if you can do it then I said that obviously I can do it and this was just my way of facing the interview. So I don't want to say you anything here because my professional experience, everything was different and it's going to be fully different for you. I just want to give you one idea that whatever you say, just be confident that time, especially when you're giving the interview. Because the person who's taking the interview is just going to see that if you are confident enough. They want a good speaker who can communicate with the clients and and if you are keen to learn something, you will be able to accomplish your goals at your workplace. So that's not a problem. They just want confident people if you're studying marketing. So you have to be confident, but not overconfident. Anyway, so yeah, like the interview went well. And it was my first interview when I came back to London. I got the job. So I was very happy that time that, okay, I got it. I would say the salary was 1400 It was not much because i had to go every day like uh, obviously it's a full-time on-site role i was very sad because i was seeing some of my friends that they're doing remote jobs and they're doing hybrid jobs so i was like oh my god that's so far from my home but i was also watching my other friends who didn't even get any internship so thinking about those uh, like scenarios i was like no i should be thankful that i at least got it so I actually cherished it and I was like, okay, I'm really proud that I got it. And then the struggle started. So I was given three clients to maintain their social media. They suddenly said me to manage six clients total. And I was like, okay, I can do it. That's not a problem. And then suddenly they said, okay, why don't you take another three? So it became nine. And then all of a sudden he actually ended up giving me like too many clients and the salary was really less and we had to travel too much. Like I had to take like, two bus and sorry one bus and two trains to go there every morning and even if I was like two minutes late or one minute late I used to get scolded it's like why but 
they wouldn't see that i would stay up late to complete the work and maintain 13 clients together it's not a joke like looking after all their social media talking to different different clients every day and maintaining their standard and even one of the tasks was like to grow social media so growing a social media is not a joke you have to put a lot of hard work and effort to it I remember that the clients i used to manage i grew their engagement rate so if you're a social media person you already know if you're a marketer you know that growing engagement rate it's a very tough job you have to be active on their social Social media all the time so it was not like I used to work 9 to 5 I remember that I used to have calls from my office at 9 p.m. at night or 10 p.m. at night one day I had a call like at 11 p.m. and he was like did you upload this like did you like what's going on any update tomorrow we will have this meeting but they were not maintaining the office time you know like I had to work in my free hours as well and that time I was like okay it's okay it's my MBA I have to complete it so I got another internship I took the internship because I saw that it was remote and I was like okay I'm gonna take that because I couldn't cope up with the work pressure maybe I would continue there if I wouldn't get that job offer basically they offered me a role where I had to manage just one client I was thinking like that instead of 13 clients if I can manage only one client and on the top of that it was a remote job I was like wow and another cherry on the top was like the salary was high you can see higher salary remote job one client i was like wow this is gonna be very comfortable for me it's gonna be very flexible maybe it's option for me to take less stress and maybe i can complete my internship like in a flexible way so why not i think i should give it a try and then i accepted their offer so i want to tell you what happened in that one month internship why i took it and why i left it so i told you already why i took it because of like this this is flexibilities but uh the reason why i left was shocking so the thing is like these people they actually showed me a lot of parts of the job as i said to you this, this is parks but when i started working there it was very fishy like i could feel it something is wrong in this job i was a social media manager and there was another girl she was also a social media manager he used to see that they were not giving us much task and then i thought maybe it's because we i have one client maybe that's why we don't have much task but this was not the case in the salary date king they were not giving a salary and i was like what was like okay maybe they're gonna give a salary maybe they're taking time maybe for some companies they take time oh by the way it was offering me 1600 pounds so i was like quite happy wow like i i'm just gonna manage one client and 1600 pounds on the top of that it's remote job and i'm like so flexible i'm gonna enjoy the job and i was very happy when i started the job honestly and everything was going right but when the salary date came they sent us an email that sorry our company don't have sufficient money and i was like what if you don't have sufficient money why would you recruit someone right and i was like that's bad and then that time i would cry but i was like okay okay let's just sit back and let's just think what's happening when they couldn't give me salary in time and i was like no this cannot be happening every month and then i remember that i talked to university of greenwich and my university really helped me uh to talk to those employers who actually hired me and then they said you have to give the salary and then they processed my salary but then they said that sorry we don't have any uh like sufficient fund uh to like keep paying you like this and i was like okay fine then i'm like i'm not working here because obviously i cannot work and give my time and effort if i'm not getting money there and then i went back to that message which came from Laika, and i said that is this position available and then that person who is my line manager right now he said check your email and then i was like okay and then i checked my email and there was that offer letter we just like i don't know that was the most happiest day so far after a long time i would say like accepted the offer i signed it i went to laika's office and now i'm working there and i'm so happy i am going to complete my internship next month 17th and Leica Mobile has already offered me that if I want to work, uh, like continue working there, I can work there. Greenwich 
can check your CV. They can develop your CV. They can maybe give you some workshops. You can attend those. But when the time comes for you to get a job, you have to do it all alone. So I don't think you're going to get much help. So this is you who have to keep trying, trying, trying. And I just want to say you one thing that the job, the perfect job, I would say right now, which I'm doing, this job you can only get if you fix your LinkedIn. So I would recommend you to watch my video because I have explained all my LinkedIn tips and like tricks in this video. So watch it and let me know if it helped you because these are the tricks that I have applied for my LinkedIn and I've also helped a lot of friends fix their LinkedIn and I am planning to make another video on LinkedIn so that it's easy for you guys when your time comes to apply for jobs that time you have your LinkedIn ready because if you fix your LinkedIn you don't even have to apply for jobs recruiters are going to message you directly with job offers and i'm not kidding this is how i got my job and i'm working here at a corporate and my office is in canary wharf this is a place where i always dreamt of working when i came to london one thing i'd like to say you guys about my current job why am i so happy we operate in 60 countries i'm leading the team of segment managers for a digital campaign right now so this digital campaign is happening around the world the position that i have marketing manager it holds a lot of power i feel really happy because i can literally make some changes like I feel really proud when I do it. I am helping all the other segment managers with a particular project. I have started program at Leica Mobile for the very first time. This is the first time Leica is doing something like this. And it's just amazing because other employees, my colleagues, they're coming with different, different sign-offs to me. I am approving them. So, you know, when you approve a sign-off, it gives you a power, a authority and it's something that uh, like when your company is trusting you, it, you just feel really good. And the respect that I'm getting in office just makes me feel really good. I hope after watching my video, you actually got motivated and you are ready to face all these challenges. So you have to comment and let me know that Anushka make a video on this thing. I really like when you guys write some comments there. So I'm going to see you with another video next time. And I hope this video helped you. See you again. Bye bye.